You see, the the MPs who have lost their seats, yeah. you know, some of them is funny. Ooh. Some of them was predictable. Like Adjua Safu's own. Yeah. Clearly predictable. But some people say that regarding Adjua Safu, that there's such a, a long, rich history and legacy that her father left within the constituency that it's nearly impossible to approach her. This is prior to this election. But that is not a delegate. Okay. Michael Quay may have won the primaries, but Michael Quay is going to really struggle if she doesn't get a, he doesn't get the support of Adjua Safo. Mm. He is going to struggle to win that constituency. And why, it, why do you say so? Because they seem to have mm. gone strongly behind Mike. So not the, not the constituency. You remember last the last elections, mm. the votes, the gap between that address for one the vote, it really closed. Yes, four the, four votes. The 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 the, the NDC have a very strong candidate in okay. that area. Mm. The lady is very very hardworking. Okay, and so um, address for has always dwelt on the influence of her father in the constituency. Mm. And a lot of the people support her primarily because of the father and mm. the, the, the work he, he's done there. Okay. And he, she's also built that relationship with them over time. Mm. Now, Michael Kwe is coming in. His father is also a former MP. Yeah. Okay. Yes, he also have their own goodwill. But I think if the two forces are able to join together, mm. then it becomes easy for the NPP to, mm. to retain that seat. Okay. But if Adjoa Safu pulls out support, mm. or even if she attempts to go independent, mm. which I suspect may happen. Really? Which I suspect may I haven't happen. heard anybody say that. That's uh, interesting. Yes, well, of course, nobody will come and announce to you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but don't be surprised yeah. if Adjoa Safu announces that she's going independent. Okay. And if she, if she goes independent, then Michael K should even close his book. He should even contest wow. because it means that it's just going to create a way for the NDC yeah. candidate to, to get through. Then, surprisingly, mm. apart from one or two MPs, all the MPs who rise up against Kenoferata, the Kenoferata must go MPs, mm. down, flat, condemn. Wow. Condemn. From Adumaku Kisi yeah. to Yijimbo yeah. all of them, gone. This is an interesting observation. Gone. No, it was predictable. I said it here. That none of the MPs, those who rose against Kenoferata, mm. will come back to the next parliament. Mm -mm. What it's do, only a few what of do them. You, what, so do, do you, are you suggesting political machinations of course. by the party? Of course. Really? You, right. you thought Kenoferata was not going to retaliate? He's a finance minister. He has money. Well, what is the key ingredient hey, in our elections? This conspiracy theory is very... You didn't see people sharing flash screens. It's very TV. wild, pal. You didn't see people carrying sums of Actually, money. I didn't, you I didn't see that. I you didn't see the flash screens. No. Should, should I show you the video? Yeah. Of, no, no, of, we can, of, you can of, show it to me the afterwards. Screens. But I mean, eh? flash there screens. were flash screens. Hey, you know the things people shared? Fridge, flash screens, gas cookers. You saw some? I saw the flash screens, actually. Wow. The boxes, actually. Huge, huge container load of flash screens. Where did they get the money from? In an economy that is struggling, still begging IMF for 600 million. They say the country is broke, but the individuals are not broke. Okay, of course. <laughs> so, uh, the Kenoferata must go in peace. Uh -huh. uh, we, we sympathize with you. You fought a good fight, especially my brother Eugene Boychenji. I know how vocal he was <laughs> on, on, on this matter. And we were all scared for him because, you know, you cannot go against the powers that be, you know like the president's cousin, who is also a finance minister, who is set on the money, he will get you out. This is your, but this is your conspiracy you, theory. It's a you, nice one. But, <clears throat> you, but you've left your name. Posterity will remember you that you are a very principled member of parliament. You, you led on your conviction. And even though you've paid the price for, you've, for it, we celebrate you. All the MPs, the gallant MPs, like Adumaku Kisi, you guys have paid the price for standing up for Ghanaians because you are not the only people who wanted Kenoferata out. All of us wanted him out. Even your own party people wanted him out. It's unfortunate that that is how our democracy has been. If you have the resources, if you have the money, you can almost certainly do anything. And we get the good guys out. And so now, you know, um, we have some garbage in, garbage out. 
We have some new garbage <laughs> out. But you see, <laughs> if you look, yeah, men's <laughs> If you look at, if you look at the issues, um, um, if you look at the trend, mm. I think the NPP should be very worried. Mm. Should be very, very, very worried. You know, in 2020, going into the elections, the NPP was very confident about winning the presidential elections. Yeah. Their problem really was the... The primaries. The, 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 sorry, the parliamentary. The parliamentary. Yeah. And that remember, was their concern. I remember that whole conversation. Because they felt it. like, yeah. you know, they were going to struggle with the... Mm. And, and, and the outcome of the elections mm. really mm. proved that they had cause to be worried about the parliamentary. Yeah. From what has happened from their parliamentary primaries, from the orphan constituencies, yeah. up to the, the certain MPs constituencies this weekend, is, you know, they are go really going to struggle. This, the struggle they are going to face in this parliamentary election, mm. this, this year's elections, mm. with the parliamentary. I won't be surprised, I won't be surprised if the NDC wins to third of the, of, the of, of the seats in parliament. Wow. Any That's seat, a bold. Yes, any seat from 137 yes. to what over 200. Yes, you see already there's a general apathy with the populace, mm. and so every 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 constituency, every seat, which the vote margin is less than 2,000, mm. is already a shaky seat. Okay. Good. Then now you have the disunity and the tension that have been created. Mm by these primaries. Yeah. And the fact that the powers that be, the establishment, mm. has funded candidates to unseat certain MPs because those MPs mm. rose up against their, their, their person. Yeah, but that's just an allegation. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, my brother, you can call it it's, anything. It's me, I've, 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 it may suit a certain narrative, of course, but we don't have evidence my brother, to prove uh, it. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> don't, don't worry. <laughs> Even if I'm the only one who understands this, <laughs> I understand it. I'm OK. <laughs> but the point I'm making is yeah. that when you have this trend, mm. you just cannot assume or say that this will not affect the fortunes of the party in yeah. elections. It is going to strongly okay. affect the party because you are going to struggle to get these MPs mm. to support your candidate because, yeah. because, because it's a vendetta. You got them out because they rose up against you. Yeah. Now they also have supporters. Mesa, I beg you. Uh, we run out of time. So, 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 so I think that it's going to be a very difficult elections mm. for the for the NPP yeah. already. I was in Ashanti region last week okay. when the former president was there. Mm. I saw the euphoria and I was shocked that this is the stronghold of the NPP. Mm. It was amazing. Yeah. It was like, I couldn't, mm. I thought for once I was in voter region. No, but you know, Mensa, the other thing also is that over the, over the last 30 years, right. the traditional stronghold areas that were tribally set mm. are becoming more heterogeneous and so especially like a place like eastern region for example mm. eastern region nobody can can claim anymore that eastern region is definitely an mpp that argument area. works for eastern region okay but it doesn't work for ashanti no but even that one too you are seeing a shift no you, no, you see for ashanti yeah i grew up in Kumasi. okay okay i grew up i was born i grew up there okay my mother is ashanti mm. Okay, and so I understand the dynamics. The in Ashanti. dynamics there. Yeah. When I was growing up in mm. Ashanti, you can't even wear the yeah. T-shirt of the NDC and walk, and walk around. Yeah, do be <laughs> lynched. No, no. Even even back, I mean, I was on as K and USD campus yes. at that time. You can't. You, I mean, it's very you difficult can't, to show. You can't even mention the openly, name NDC openly as you, you know. see. And you, you see, and if you understand the Ashanti, the Ashanti are very traditional people. They respect their own. They take the politics we've, as a culture. We've run out of Let time. me just run up quickly yes, on that. Yes, run out of time. And so, for for that massive shift, mm. if the Ashanti, you know what? If they don't like you, but you have a chance to win, mm. they they will keep quiet. They won't support you. Or because I met to Obama NDC there and come and come and come into Kra. Yeah. Okay. But this time round, for them to come out in their numbers. Well, we haven't seen them vote yet, so let's, so let's wait and see. My, my, my brother, this is political support. Okay. What All I'm right. talking about is not Man. voting. I'm talking about the support that the Ashantis are openly giving to the NDC, which, which we didn't see before. Okay. Which I think that if the NPP... We don't disagree with you. Party, I think generally... They should be worried. They should right. be concerned. Okay.